these are some of the pinafore dress designs that anybody can make and in today's video my dear fashionistas i'm just going to show you one way of making the pinafore dress especially the skirt part of it the bottom part of it so you are most welcome feel at home and if this is your first time here just subscribe to join the family and let us start the video so these are the pieces that i'll be working with at the top to cut out the top part of the pinafore and they are folded into two and i'm aligning them together so that i cut everything at once so it is front and back together and at the top here i'm just going to first mark the neck width that is four inches you can do more if that's what you want and from the four inches i'm just going to add the three inches so i'm adding three inches and another half inch for sewing allowance but if you want you can just consider your um shoulder measurement half of your shoulder measurement your entire half of the shoulder measurement so that's what i've done and for the front depth i'm working with four and a half and then for the for the back depth i worked with two inches so for the front it will be a v neckline as you see and then the back it is kind of v and then slightly curved just like that so the top one is for the back so after there remember i have a shoulder line here and the allowance at the top of half an inch so i'm slanting my shoulder by one inch you know as we do usually and then i connect to where the neckline stopped and from there i add half an inch that is another line on top of that shoulder slant and that is the joining allowance for the shoulder so guys the entire the half length that i'm working with is 15 inches plus the joining allowance always remember that so here i have seven and a half and at the bottom here we're at the half length stroke hemline I'm just going to reduce it by one inch and mark six and a half but if you want you can use the entire seven and a half and if you want you can design it any way any way you want so i'll just connect those two points like that so for the for the top you can design it any way you feel like any way you want you can increase the depth you can reduce it you know you do whatever you want according to you you are a designer remember so after that i just cut out and my front and back pieces that is the top part are finished so this is how they look like and i'll be needing some lining so i'll be cutting two of each of them and i'll be using the same fabric so here we have cut the lining part of it and i've used the same fabric so i'll sew by half an inch like that from the neckline the shoulder and the sides i'll just leave that the bottom part you know open so that is simply that for both front and back pieces and guys i have also a belt i'll be attaching a belt so this is it i'll be attaching a belt onto that um onto the upper part or the belt will be in between the skirt and the top piece like that that is why i used half length of 15 inches so that the belt will be about two inches getting up to the waistline at around 17 inches and then the skirt part will continue from there so if you want you can split the belt into two it is now unfold and it is five in it is six inches unfolded but unfold it is three inches 
that is allowances added also so that is what i have putting it aside i have my pieces for the bottom piece of the dress and i'll let's now just start cutting them out so this entire width is according to the hip measurement dividing it by four plus allowances so you just consider your hip measurement and if you you're going to use gathers you just do uh, just as the way we do the gathers so it depends on the skirt design that you want to put uh, at the bottom of your pinafore dress but this time we are working with a straight skirt so i've marked half an inch on top there and i've marked a line that is that is the waistline and from that waistline i'm going down by nine inches to mark the hip line so this is the hip line and on top here the waistline i'm just marking waist measurement dividing it by four whatever i get i add one inch for that dart and another inch for sewing allowance and if you want you can even add like half an inch or quarter inch as the ease allowance so that is what i have so far and that's the hip line uh that that will not go up to the hip line so here i just consider hip measurement divided by four plus the allowances so i'll just use this entire fabric or the entire measurement so guys um from the top so i think you're seeing how my piece will be how the dress will be it will be starting from 17 going down so altogether it will be about 38 inches that is the length of the entire pinafore dress and then i'll be adding some a folding allowance down there so even this cut you can just design it anyhow you want you can make it tapered you can make it free so for this case i just made it a free skirt but if you want you can make it tapered so you reduce the hip measurement by about one or one and a half inches and you mark that at the hemline so i've connected the waistline and the hip line and now for the nipple to nipple measurement i'm using is seven inches dividing it by two i get three and a half plus half an inch as the joining allowance for that 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 is why i marked the four inches there that is the that is where my dart will be so guys there i have about two inches for the folding allowance and now these are my two pieces of the skirt remember if you want to do a circle skirt that's what you should do if you want to do gathers that's what you can do but the top piece of the pinafore in most cases they are always the same so i'll just join this cut you know after taking in the darts i'll join the sides and at one of the side it's where my zipper will be and i also add a slit at one of the sides so now i'm just going to take my pieces onto the sewing machine join them together and we'll have something that you will see after some time Two thousand years later so guys this is what i have after joining everything together for the top piece everything is taken in and always remember to iron it whenever you can so this is the skirt piece as i told you i left about four inches here minus the allowance and uh, the hemming allowance for the slit and this is how it looks like front and back that's taken in the the, the waistband is also added and i left the zip allowance as you've seen so guys i'm just getting the midpoint of this waistband and mark it that is front and back front and back and then after i'm also going to get the midpoint of the top piece so that that is also front and the back and after there i'll just make sure that uh, top 
pieces that is front they are pinned down together aligning at the center their centers should be aligning and then i'll just take this to the sewing machine and join everything together as you see so guys for ease just always add the waistband to the top piece first not onto the skirt so after everything after attaching and joining everything together i have the pinafore dress finished so i just double folded at the hemline and i left the slit part there and this is the zipper i worked with um an invisible zipper at the side but if you want you can put your zipper behind at the center back and this is how the back looks like so guys always feel free when it comes to a pinafore you do what you want i have another pinafore dress on my channel and it is a circle skirt that i worked with that time but that is it guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember that i love you always